Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create backup maintenance plan in SQL Server using management, SQL Server Management Studio. So here is my server right here. Here's my SQL Server, Tech Brothers, and SQL Server Prod is SQL Prod is my instance. So in order to create a backup maintenance plan, you need to click on management and go to the maintenance plan. If you have already maintenance plan, there would be a plus sign here and you can go ahead and view the maintenance plan. Since we don't have a maintenance plans, we'll plan, we're going to go ahead and right click on the maintenance and click on new plan. We need to name the plan. So we're going to go ahead backup underscore all DB. So this is our maintenance plan since this maintenance plan is going to be backing up all the databases including system databases and user databases. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. As you can see right here, um, this is the maintenance plan and there's a sub plan up here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on toolbox up here. If it doesn't appear, the toolbox doesn't appear, you can click on view and click on toolbox right here and it'll bring the toolbox right there so right now it's uh, on hide auto hide so you don't have to click on auto hide and you can click on this little auto hide button and then it will go ahead and stay on there so we're gonna go ahead uh, in this video uh, we're gonna, going to do backup database task so we're gonna go ahead and drag that to this space once you drag the backup database task in this space right here as you can see right here the X button that means that this backup task is not configured so we created the uh, maintenance plan and now we got the backup database task from the toolbox we're going to go ahead and configure this uh, backup database task once it's configured you will see you you will see that this X bar is gone and it is uh, converted into green that means it's ready to be used so we're gonna go ahead and configure it in order to configure it you need to double click on the backup database task and it'll appear all the uh, setting it'll show in this little window backup database task so connection up here is our local connection general information is that what kind of backup that you're going to create this plan for you have a full backup differential backup and log backup in this video we're going to do full backup so we're going to go ahead and click on that and up here we have a selection of the database now if you click on the selection you get following selection all databases only the system databases which is master model um, and msdb and all other all user databases this will exclude master model msdb and temp db but also you have an option if you want just specific databases you don't want all user databases you don't want system databases you don't want up here this option you can go ahead and select what databases that you wanted to back up in this maintenance plan so we're going to go ahead and click on all databases since this video is about backing up all your databases on a particular SQL Server instance so we're gonna go ahead and click on all databases keep in mind this is very important ignore databases where the state is not online if your database is offline and you have not clicked on this your maintenance plan is going to fail so keep in mind that if you have the backup uh, up here, the database uh, no, offline, any database that is offline in your database list, you need to click this option so that it will go ahead and ignore and not create an error in your back backup maintenance plan. So we're going to go ahead and click all databases. I don't have any database that is offline, so uh, it doesn't really matter for me, but I'm going to click it anyway. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Now up here, uh, backup two, we have two options in SQL Server 2012, 2014, there are two options to disk and URL. URL involves your uh, uh, Azure storage, so we're not going to cover in this video. We'll put another video to uh, backup to a URL using Azure account. But right here you have a disk, tape, and URL. We're going to, in this video, we're going to back, back up all these databases on the disk so we're good with that click on destination up here if you wanted to create subdirectory of each database and once the subdirectory is created all the database will go 
and create a database directory such as master or all user database and it will put in this following location you have an option right here if you wanted to uh, put it somewhere else uh, you can click on right here and change the path of your uh, databases this is the path that where your database is going to be so if you wanted to create a backup for every database and create a subdirectory you can click that I'm not going to create a subdirectory I'm okay with the um, databases that you know just uh, be in main folder not subdirectory sometimes it's a good option to create a subdirectory because uh, um, it will make it more manageable for uh, anybody any DBA to do that so backup extension is BAK right here so let's look at the options right here options are just like uh, uh, manually creating the database we have uh, the compression if you wanted to use the SQL Server default compression that's fine if you don't want compression uh, you have an option not to select the compression again um, I wanted to quickly mention that if we, your database is compressed and from 100 gig to its uh, backup is 40 gig that doesn't mean that it's going to uh, take less time to restore it's going to take the same time uh, as 100 gig database so you have option backup set will expire you have option in days and 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 uh, also the date Copy only uh, uh, backup, usually we, um, in, in normal maintenance plan, we don't do that. This is some of the ad hoc if you wanted to do the copy only backup. The verify backup integrity, sometimes it's a good option to do it in production, but keep in mind if you click on verify backup integrity, it's going to take some time to in order to complete your backup task. If you wanted to uh, do the backup encryption, you can select that if you're sending your backup off-site somewhere uh, to a vendor or even Microsoft you would like to encrypt your database uh, backup so that uh, when it goes over the network it won't be hacked so you have that option and we're ready to uh, click OK and create a maintenance plans plan once this maintenance plan is created it is going to create a job for us in SQL Server agent so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and as you can see that little X button is gone up here some of the options that this maintenance plan is going to run as SQL Server agent service account which is right here so you need to make sure the agent account uh, the account that you're using you have an option to change the uh, the account right here if that account is changed or even the SQL Server agent you need to make sure that that particular account has a right permission where you're storing your database backups if that's if that's uh, not the case then you're going to run into issue of permission issue that it cannot write to the particular um, uh, storage where you wanted to add your backups so we're gonna go ahead and keep in mind it's very important to save all once you click on save that's when it's going to create SQL Server agent job so we're gonna go ahead and save all all right our maintenance plan is saved and in this maintenance plan we have um, configured full backup of all the databases on our SQL Server instance so let's close this and take a look on SQL Server agent as you can see right here is our backup underscore all job is created so you can go ahead and manually run this job or you can also execute your maintenance plan if you refresh it we'll get an option right here you can execute your maintenance plan what back behind the scene it'll do it'll kick off the job on SQL Server agent so we're gonna click on the jobs right here you can go ahead and start the job so basically this is how you create a full backup maintenance plan and go through some options I hope this video helps